Okay, welcome back. So, quick observation before we get stuck in here. I'm pretty sure we've taken Blue's last town, which would make sense because uh, Zyron looks to be very weak. However, if we have done that, then that also means that Purple has also lost their last town. Which is interesting because their strongest hero is Sephiroth, and we can actually see Sephiroth um, just to the south in this area. And she's actually pretty strong. She's got several black dragons, lots of other dungeon units. So, should be pretty interesting to see what she does at the end of the turn. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to move the rest of our heroes, so we're going to start off with Vokiel. Okay, let's go slightly to the north, as it looks like there is quite a bit more we could explore in that direction. Uh, we're going to send Aislinn just to this, I think. Could maybe give her Earth Magic, but I think we're going to send her in the direction of uh, the complex town anyway, so... We can just go to the Magic University instead. Uh, we're going to go to this with Galthran, and I think, having already gone west, we should probably just push through in this direction. Uh, so let's have a look. So that's Tamika. Tamika's already moved. Just go down to there. Then Nimbus is going to go into this. We're going to go to the Artifact Merchants once again, and I think, even though we don't have a big use for it right now, uh, I think we should go for the Orb of Tempestuous Fire, just in case we do get... Just in case we do get Armageddon or something. It's pretty unlikely, but I'm um, pretty sure the Artifact Merchants does refresh itself at the start of every month. So it's only going to be around another week, and we don't really have too much use for our resources. So I think that does make sense. I'm going to send Nimbus up this way. And Thant has a couple of fights he needs to take. We need to level this guy up a lot, because his necromancy is currently really bad. So lots of losses expected. Just go send up some bait. And we'll send the rest down. Okay, so those get morale and they kill us off. I guess we go for a block like this. I'm not sure if this really works. So next stack's to move this one, then this one. So let's just try and block them off. Okay, so we hold those two in place. These guys, I think, can't actually reach us. So I guess in that case... We'll just go for this. And let's wait. I forgot, of course, we are quite speedy. So... Potentially we could catch them. Yeah, because these guys should come closer, I think. Okay, we're gonna send these guys up as bait. These guys do come closer, so we can kill those off. And at this point... Hmm. Very difficult to keep our numbers up. Not really a lot we can do. Gonna have to try and go for a block. Okay, that does keep them busy. This stack can reach us. Then we get to move. Probably not a lot we can do to stop being hit by two stacks. Let's go for this one. Then we get hit by these, and then we get to move. We kill these off. So 21 losses, 117 kills, 21 back. That's not the best. We definitely need to level up. Do get the precision spell, which is completely useless, and we're going to go for plus one knowledge. Okay, so that just leaves Vidamina, and Vidamina is just going to go to the southwest, or Vidomina. I'm still not sure exactly how to pronounce it. I think someone said it's Vidomina. Anyway, we're going to go towards the ribcage. We're going to take on the marksman. That should be completely fine, because I've decided we're going to go to the east. We're going to go to this. We're going to loop around, go to the magic well, and then we're going to push south. We're going to go to the dwarven treasury. Get some more skeletons, probably take these on, I mean we kind of have to. We could avoid that fight, but maybe we can scare them off. Push to the south, and we're going to push through this little zone. Go to the Pillar of Fire, and see if we can find out a bit more about our opponents. We could also go for something like View Air, which will tell us a bit more. So we can see that if we actually push to the east from this zone, we're going to reach Red. Red has lost their main town, and they do have a town down there, so there must be a monolith. That's the only explanation I have. If we go to the south in this direction, it looks like we eventually reach purple. There's also a green town. But yeah, not exactly sure what to make of that. That's interesting. There's one unclaimed town, which I think blue is maybe going to get. I'm not sure how they got all the way there. We know where they started. Oh well, I think that's fine for this turn, so let's just end the turn there. 
So this is all the above ground stuff, which is mostly irrelevant to us. Han is probably the strongest player, as I mentioned in the previous episode. That is their strongest hero. Kind of lost, not really doing anything. Blue has timed out just before reaching that neutral town. Kind of unfortunate. So the interesting thing here is to look out for what happens with purple. So purple still seems to be opening things up, which is really strange if they actually have no towns. I'm not sure what to make of that. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, so Zai, I guess, is pretty much stuck in place. Let's go to Thant first, because Thant doesn't really have too much to do. Uh, if we go west, not strong enough to take on the Pit Lords. Not strong enough to take on this stuff. This is kind of a problem. Yeah, I think we're going to have to loop back round. Seems to be the only option. Or, we go up north in this direction, take on the Familiars. That's still something useful we can do. We'll waste a couple of turns, but I think that's fine. Okay, so Nimbus is going to visit this. They want the breastplate of Petrified Wood. We go through to Galtharan, and we're going to pass over the various artifacts. Uh, I guess we can take this off Galtharan, although not with this guy. So immunity to the curse spell, we're literally already immune to that, so it doesn't matter. Statesman's Medal could potentially be useful at some point. Probably don't need the inexhaustible cart of lumber, but let's just keep it on Galtharan for now, just because he's at least able to defend himself. Okay, mix these two together, and let's go west. So we've got a big 15% boost to our necromancy, 10% from this, 5% from this. Going to go for the Hobgoblins first. So 8 losses is completely fine, that's another 32. Split these some more. So a throng of wolf riders could be slightly tougher, but should still be fine, let's go for it. 34 losses expected, no wolf raiders is good. I feel like there's probably something we can do here. I guess if we go for... Go for this. That might be better. Let's see what happens. So they are faster than us, they come towards us. Just need to see out this turn. Okay, so... Let's leave these in place. These will wait. These wait too. These wait too. These guys wait. These go for this. These defend. Then we finish them off. Okay, so one loss. 61 gained. And let's go through. Okay, so this zone... Seems to be kind of empty to the east and to the south, but there is uh, an unclaimed treasure chest, which is a good sign. Horde of Marksmen. That's not a good fight. Only six spell points as well. No sign of a well. I'm almost tempted to go back. So what could we do? We do have enough for one haste. So we can rush across. We probably do have to take these on. Maybe they run off? No, okay, it was too much to hope for. 112 losses expected. This could be pretty rough. Okay, so the easiest stack to reach is the one at the top. And this stack at the bottom is not too easy to get to. Okay, just gonna have to see what we can do. Okay, so they get morale on top of everything else. That's like an extra 10 skeletons lost. If we go for haste, that's plus 5 speed. Plus 5 speed doesn't look to be enough. Okay. Still, just gotta see what we can do. Let's rush forward, of course. The next round of shots is gonna be a lot worse. Yeah, we can get really close, but not quite close enough. If we had advanced tactics, we'd be fine. Yeah, this next round of shots is going to be really bad because they are are able to attack us at full strength. Most of these stacks can't really do too much. Okay, we go for this. We finish them off. 49 losses, 50 back. I think that's about as good as we could have hoped for. Okay, next fight, a horde of pikemen. Should be extremely straightforward. Go for it. They don't want to fight us, this should be completely fine. 8 losses, 42 back, that's really promising. 
then we'll go for this. This should be fine. Ah, we can see Teal to the south. Can we reach them? Does appear to be a block there. There's also a monolith. And we can also go above ground. If we go above ground, does indeed take us into... Not Teal's lands, although Teal has been there. Takes us into Orange's lands. And we can see some Malik. We can see Kaled. Kaled's actually quite strong. She's actually quite scary. Okay. So, for this particular fight... Let's have a look. What's it going to say? A Horde of Dwarves. I think three stacks is probably fine. We'll try this. Okay, four losses expected. A little bit of crystal, which is actually the resource we need. And another 25 skeletons, so a total of 651 skeletons. That's pretty good. Okay, back to Aislin, let's go through this. Uh, let's visit this, I think that does make sense. We'll go for defense so we can focus on casting Meteor Shower. Go back to this town, we're going to go for, I think, Mage Guild level 1. Although we could go for a tavern and get a new hero and start it next week. But, don't really think that's a priority. We'll also check this before the end of the week, but yeah, it's just a couple of pretty pointless heroes. Okay, we're going to go for Mage Guild level 1. The spells in there, we do get slow. We do get uh, Magic Arrow, which is pretty much not guaranteed, but it's generally very unlikely that you'll miss out on that. Okay, so this fight should be fine. I'm going to go for it. So 161 losses expected. Maybe I should have gone for multiple stacks, especially with the mass haste. That would have made sense. But I'm banking on I'm banking on Animate Dead bringing enough back. So yeah, raises 53. Then we kill these. No losses. 53 back. Okay, so we've got the ribcage for another plus two spell power, which does make our animate dead stronger. And I was meaning to mention that Thant... Something else about Thant is his animate dead specialty. If you look at it, it specifically makes it better on low level units. So Thant's animate dead is actually extremely good, particularly with skeletons. So he's actually a really good choice for a main too, but of course we did already use him in the the Vampire's Only Challenge, so I didn't use him this time. Not as my starting hero. Okay, so Vokul, not really too much he can do. Some artifacts he could pick up. I guess we just go south for now. Uh, Zai. Can't get through. Can't really see too much. Does appear to be at least somewhat unclaimed. Okay, we're going to go for this, and we're going to start going in this direction, and then Tamika is just going to go through. And we'll send Tamika in this direction. There are a couple of stat boosts, and I think that's either a Demon Gate or a Forsaken Palace. I'm not really sure. I think it's a Demon Gate. We'll see what happens with that. I'm going to send Nimbus that way too. Okay, let's end the turn there. So, red is indeed right on the other side of those units. You have to be a bit careful. Don't really want to lose that complex town. So, green goes underground. Let's see what purple does. Okay, good to see orange is moving further away. No sign of aggression at all from purple, and in fact... I don't know why Sephiroth didn't move. We'll see if purple times out. I'm kind of surprised by how passive they've been. Okay, so a horde of sprites. They are guarding a spell. And there are some good looking fights up there. So the archers are bad, but there's also, I think, some gremlins. And we can see they're, I think, unupgraded gremlins because they appear to be facing to the east. Which means they're not upgraded. I think. We'll see. Okay, we're going to split these up. Try this. Okay, 22 losses. We can definitely do better. They are going to form as two stacks. Go for a block. Okay, does just about work. We can squeeze in. 
course, we are getting our spell points back, so we could just go for a spell. I guess they're going to move three times in a row. So this stack's going to move, then this stack attacks with one stack, then this stack moves in. Can attack one of our big stacks. But I feel like they probably wouldn't. So Magic Carry, 140 points of damage, this does 230. We do have enough spell points, we probably could go for Meteor Shower. I think we just hedge our bets. This stack's the last to move, let's hedge our bets. Just weaken these. Oh, we do actually kill them off. I forgot just how few hit points they have. And that's why I've kind of not been too bothered about these types of fights with sprites, because you don't actually get many skeletons from sprites. Okay, so they come down to attack, we can just move this across. These defend. And we kill these off. Okay, so 74 kills gets us 26 skeletons. I guess that's not bad. Got the Hypnotize spell, which I guess could come in handy at some point. Yeah, so Vitamina does feel a bit remote from the action, but I think just gathering skeleton numbers is a good way of hedging our bets against losing. I should have just gone for that, of course. I should have gone for Haste. That was a mistake. Okay, we'll definitely go for this one. They do start off with some Master Gremlins. But I think going for Haste does make sense. Okay, we're going to rush forward. I don't think this is worth going for Animate Dead. Yep, five losses, 45 back. And then we're going to go for Trugs. Quite like this, I think three stacks is fine. They should be slower. Although they're underground, so perhaps not. We're going to go for this just so we have a meat shield. Okay, 85 in total. They do form as one stack. And they do rush forward. Yeah, they are the same speed as us. Even with the Necklace of Swiftness. Okay, let's defend. And let's wait. It comes slightly forward, but not too much. Okay, they go for that attack. So with 5 speed, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We should be fine. There we go. So 85 kills, 53 skeletons, and we can go for plus 1 knowledge or plus 1 spell power. I think knowledge is still more useful. Then let's go south. Okay, so she's, like I said, kind of remote, but... I think that's fine. Uh, we could go for the Throng of Pixies, but again, I think we don't get too many actual, um... Don't think we get too many actual units from that. Is it worth going for the Stone Golems? They are slower than us. But we only have seven spell points. So, if we were to go above ground, we can rush up in this direction. There's a monolith there. That monolith takes us to here. Then we could go east. We could take on... Kill's main town, which is pretty undefended. Tyrus has some angels. It depends how aggressive we want to go. I think first we move Tamika. Just going to see what we can find. So this area is completely unexplored. I assume we'll get blocked pretty soon. Yeah, it's a difficult choice because I'm not sure where this goes. If we scan the entire map, we can probably find the answer, but that's a bit tedious. Yeah, I can't really find an answer, so I'm guessing this goes somewhere underground. Either that or I didn't look properly. So, if we go above ground, I think we need some kind of extra incentive. We need something else that's worth going for. So, Armor of Wonder. It's only a very small step up from what we already have. Warrior's Tomb can be extremely good, but it's pretty luck-based, and I think... Looking at this, I think we have to take on the Ifrit Sultans. So there's an arena. Library of Enlightenment is quite a few turns away, and we have to break through the Sharpshooters. As tempting as it is, I think I'd rather keep getting stronger. And so I'm going to try and push towards places we've not already seen. 
Ah, okay, so I didn't scan properly. This actually takes us really close to Teal's base. If we go south, we can take some fights, but I think... I think we kind of have to go aggressive here. Lots of war unicorns. Shouldn't be too bad. There's a Shrine of Magic Thought there, which could of course be Animate Dead. It's day one, so there's every chance it's about to fill up with a lot of units. Do we have a weapon? We don't have a weapon. So Black Shard of the Dead Knight is a little bit of extra strength. But lots of war unicorns is difficult because I think they form too many stacks. I think we prepare to loop round. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so A is then next. We're just going to go to this, I think. Go for Wisdom. Then Nimbus is going to go through. I'm going to send Nimbus to the northeast. It is indeed a demon gate. Okay, so if red does break through, that's going to be a problem. But I think we just have to risk it. Makes more sense to keep exploring. Okay, back to this. Let's go for... A bit of an awkward choice, I think. We'll go for Mage Guild level 2 for now. Then let's go back to this, let's check this out. So it's in the gash. Plus 350 gold per turn. Not that useful. Probably should go for him at some point, but I have to tuck into a town first. Okay, let's end the turn there. So Red has taken their town back of Tan. Tan is opening things up. Okay, it's going to become quite hard to keep track of things pretty soon. So Orange's main hero is still getting further away, does pick up the, the gloves to travel further. I've got the called Equestrian's Gloves. So she's going to be quite hard to run away from. Nobody comes towards us to attack us. Okay, so let's start off with Thant, and I think... A throng of stone golems, so that's between 100 and 250 stone golems, and there's no actual reward that we'd use. I think that's probably just a few too many. It's very tempting. But I think we don't do that. Horde of Dendroid Guards. Similar thing, if we had a stronger hero I might do it, but I think we don't. Okay, Throng of Familiars, let's go for this. So 196 in total. Do form in lots of different stacks, which is going to make this difficult. And they can reach us, okay. Let's go for this. And bait them. Can we go for the block? So we've got nine spell points we can use if we want to, but I think we should probably try and save them. Ah, okay, so those could reach my one stack, that kind of sucks. Alright, there's no great way to do this. We could maybe go for Magic Arrow, does 50 points of damage, which is going to kill... A few, but not too many. Not too many other options as well. We could go for haste. That gives us three extra speed, so that takes us from six speed to nine speed. That would help us. We should do that. Saves us getting hit. Is it worth trying to move away? I think maybe. Doubt there's anything we can do though. See if they pull in opposite directions. No, they don't. Okay. One last try. Not gonna work. Okay, that completely failed. Didn't count my turns. 37 losses. Advanced Wisdom, 24 back. Yeah, that didn't go too well. Alright, let's go in this direction. So, Cape of Conjuring, not too useful. Horde of Sharpshooters, not worth going for. Lots of Stone Golems we can maybe do. Okay, let's check this out. So yeah, it has restocked, but notably there are no no Archangels. We could go to this first, but I think we'll go fully aggressive, hope this is Animate Dead, which it actually is. But we don't have enough spell points. There is a well. And to be honest, 
it's probably worth doing that. Because we'll take so many losses if we don't. Okay, we're gonna go for Earth Magic. And there's a Forsaken Palace. Okay, so Teal has claimed this. Okay, so I think we do want to go for the Marksman, just so we can get to the Dwarven Treasury. But I'm hoping we scare them off. Don't actually want to fight them. Let's try this. Okay, they don't want to fight us, perfect. Alright, so we can take that next turn. Aeson's going to go up to the north. So, I think we're going to stay here for at least one turn, we're going to tuck ourselves in. And we're going to go to another town. I think this town's going to be one of the hardest to defend. So we're going to get Nagash. It's pretty pointless, but it gives us a bit of extra gold. Um, at some point we can pass those skeletons to someone else, maybe. If someone comes back, which might never happen. Well, let's see who that makes available to. So that brings us Ajit and Christian. So we're not going to use either of those two. Okay, so Vokul goes... Is it worth going north? No, it's kind of pointless. There is a cartographer there. But we're not strong enough for that. Is there stuff we can pick up? So there's some crystal there. I think we just go west. Okay, then Zai's going to go through. So, I think Zai's just going to pick up resources. And there's not too much of a reason to go through the monolith, I think. So it takes us to here, then we get blocked if we go south, if we go north. Yeah, it's not like there's stuff we can claim. We could get Animate dead. And that would be pretty nice, but we're running out of fights to train up on. Get our numbers. What else could we do? We can pick up lots of stats. I think we move in this direction for now. And that's purely because there's still more to explore up there. And it is unclaimed. Okay, so back to this. We're going to go for Mage Guild level 3. That gets us Teleport, gets us Frostring, and gets us Landmine. A few people have asked in previous episodes about Animate Dead. Why don't I just do Spell Research? Spell Research is a mechanic that was added in Horn of the Abyss. It's not a thing in Shadow of Death, which is what we're playing. Okay, so Aislinn might as well stay here for the turn. Let's just end it there. So red's back in the game. I'm not sure what's going on with purple. Pan is wasting a lot of time. That was once the most scary hero on the map. I'm not sure if one of them just used Town Portal. I think that might have happened. Okay, purple may be starting to go aggressive. Tan Teal, I think, is preparing to come for us. Okay, if we had units, we could easily take on the dwarves, but we don't. Okay, let's go to this first. I think three at the top is probably fine. We're just going to say yes. Six losses, 35 back. Okay, Horde of Wolf Riders. Should be safe. Okay, we're expected to take losses because they are faster than us, and auto resolve is never going to go for the block. Okay, so they do get morale, so they do get to hit us, that kind of sucks. Pull these towards us. Go for this. Okay, being two hex units, we are safe for this round. They will get to move twice in a row. Yeah, I should have stayed where I was just to bait them in. Never mind. Oh no, I stand corrected. We do actually get to attack them first. Okay, 
Okay, so 20 losses are a choice we don't want. Navigation and Scholar. Forced to go for Scholar, that's really disappointing. I was hoping for Offense. Pathfinding even would be good. Yeah, Offense, Armor, Pathfinding, Water Magic. Lots of good stuff that could have been. That's a shame. Okay, so if we go west, there's Orc Chieftains, there's the Naga Bank, which... You could probably justify going for the Naga Bank, but I don't think we bother. Throng of Evil Eyes, it's safer not to. Lots of Harpies. Probably would be fine to do. Nearly up to a thousand Skeletons. We should fight these. So they do form as one big stack. Unfortunately, they're too far away for our Skeletons, although... They're 7 speed. Now, there's not much we can do because they are, of course, going to stay in place. Once they attack, I think we just haste. Okay, so we spend some spell points, but it gets us 37 more skeletons, which is not enough to go up to 1,000, but not a bad start. Okay, so across to Aislinn, we're going to go to this. We're going to build the Magic University. We're going to teach ourselves Water Magic. We're going to teach ourselves Earth Magic, and I think Air Magic too. I think that's all good. Okay, so Aislinn definitely needs some units. We can get us some. Would have made more sense to recruit Nagash in this town, but never mind. Okay, so actual heroes who can do things. I think Galthran, like I said, does have to go for this before he's safe to go for the attack. Unfortunately, they might get back to defend with Tyrus, but Tyrus will have to ditch at least one of those stacks. That might be okay. Can we still reach? Yeah, we can still reach next turn, that's good. Alright, so across to Than, if we go south, if we take on a horde of lizardmen, we can break through to the Dwarven Treasury, we can break through to the Imp Cache, but we have to take on Centaur Captains. I feel like we're maybe not strong enough for this. If we had spell points, perhaps. But I think we go back. And Nimbus is going to go east. Should be going for experience, really. But, a bit of a reflex. Okay, do we send Zai up in this direction? It's a bit of a dead end. So perhaps not. I think we go around this way. Okay, so Aislinn's pretty useless until we get us some extra units. Just gonna move towards the hero who actually has some. Yeah, I think green has town portal. Okay, so purple does go aggressive, takes on green's town and loses. So if that was Sephinroth, purple is really screwed. It wasn't Sephinroth. Sephinroth is presumably now going to go and attack, but might have left it too late. Okay, so Teal, I didn't actually see where they went. They actually went west. So they might go for this town next, which is probably fine. This should be all good. Now that we've got Animate dead, we're in such a strong position. We can go for this, and it's, it's borderline safe. Yeah, 453 losses expected. I'm hoping we lose a few less than that. Okay, are they going to come and attack us? I don't think they are. Gonna have to wait till we break through. We can go for Earthquake a couple of times, but... Um, also, by the way, we can't teleport across because we don't have the right level of... Don't have the right level of water magic. You need advanced water magic. Okay, I think we do go for Earthquake once. That does not do as much as I hoped. Let's push forward. Yeah, not a lot we can do. Just gotta take the hits. Okay, it does open up, that's perfect. Do we go for our first animate dead? 580 hit points, brings back 57. I think we leave it. We'll do it later. 
So 63 spell points. I think we save all of it for Animate Dead. And so yeah, I'm going to try and hold us in the moat. Now I think we go for our first. Okay, it takes us a really long time to get our turn. We go for Animate Dead. Brings back 97 from the dead. 58 halberdiers, we kill these off. Then we can reach these. I think we go for Animate Dead once again. 97 back. Kill these off. These two should be coming back, but they're not for some reason. Animate Dead once again. 91 back. Kill these off. Still going for that, okay. We can try and cross the moat, I think that does make sense. They do come back to attack us. Now we animate dead. Have we got all of them back? I can't remember our original number. It's close enough. 17 losses. Let's go for advanced tactics, that would have been good before. We get 89 back. So we're up to 723. We can pop ourselves in the town, get ourselves a stable boost, and we will get our movement points back next turn. We can also go for Mage Guild level 3, although... We need to have a think about saving our resources for this. So this Mage Guild level 4 gets us Resurrection and Meteor Shower. I am pretty tempted, but we don't have a great supply of Crystal, so maybe not. Okay, Vitamina goes for this, and it is in fact a dead end. We can pick up a few more units, but not too many. I think we definitely go for the goblins, but this is just a bit too passive. We need to go more aggressive. Let's kill these off. They still form as two separate stacks, okay. Okay, now we wait, move these back, these wait too, and the morale's really good for us. Okay, 87 skeletons from that, we're going to pick up a bit more knowledge. Uh, we could go to this for a bit more stats, but we need to start coming back ASAP. It's still really tempting, because it's free skeletons, We've pushed ourselves over a thousand. So we're going to take on the halflings, take on the archers. If we loop round, is it worth going back to the well? I think it's a bit too far. I think for the sake of plus one attack or defense, we need to be more careful with our movement points. We're going to come back. Uh, I think Than is going to go for this. Go for the usual block. Please defend. Okay, both of them take the bait, which is not what I hoped would happen. Force to defend. Okay, good news is they can't reach us. So these are seven speed. Is it worth going for haste? I think it probably is. Yeah, I think we go for haste. And because of our speed, we get to move again. So 125 kills, 12 skeletons for that. Those are really bad for experience too, which is, yeah, not great. We need to level up. Okay, so this reveals a monolith. We don't know where it goes. There's a second teal town, which explains why they're not bothered about defending. And Adelaide looks quite strong. So I think Zai, being the better of the two, should probably pull back, although we could actually push in this direction. And this is... There appears to be a block, so we couldn't get through. I think we just trap ourselves if we do that. So let's come back. 
Tamika's also pretty stuck. We can check this out. Okay, so there is a block, but we can eventually push through that. Bokuel is supposed to be picking up resources, but there's not really too much to pick up. I think we go south. Nimbus is going to go this way. Aethan goes through. And... We'll leave that there. I guess we could go from Mage Guild level 3. It should honestly be fine. We can do trading if we need to. So we've got Hypnotize, we've got Anti-Magic, we've got Destroy Undead. Okay, we're gonna turn there. Still not many players threatening us directly, which is great. So I need to check out my Thieves Guild situation because I'm sure some of these guys are getting pretty strong. Purple should be going super aggressive. Pretty sure they're gonna time out pretty soon. She's opening all that stuff up. Purple just completely times out. So Purple had Sephiroth with several black dragons and just chose not to use her. It's really bizarre. Okay, well, Galthran could go back south. There is a dragon utopia and you know what? We could easily do that. That might be the more fun option. Although I think with Animate dead, we are strong enough. That we could just stay really aggressive. I think as good as it would be to do a Dragon Utopia, we can get a lot of skeletons from it too, but with 717 skeletons, we're probably already fine. I think we just go for this. And then Than is kind of lost. Not a lot for him to do. I guess we'll just start going south, and we'll visit some of these. There is a Thieves Guild there, but we can probably find out a lot by doing this. So we're considered the weakest player on the map, which I don't really believe. Tan is still considered the strongest, has Archangels, Green is the second strongest, Teal is the second weakest, and Adelaide is now the best that Teal has. Okay, so Vokuel should go to this stuff, just in case. The, the Grail that we can access is actually quite nice. If we can do that, that'd be good. Okay, Aislinn goes through. Nimbus goes south. Zai's gonna get stronger just in case we do start using her. And Tamika. Not really much she can do. Let's just go south. Then back to this. Mage Guild level 5 is gonna cost us quite a bit. But if we have a look at this, 1000 each. So it's effectively 10,000. 16,000 for 10. That's completely fine. Mage Guild level 5 gets us Fire Elemental. Okay. I think we still want to go for Mage Guild level 4 on the other one. Just trade 26k, that's fine. Back to this. Mage Guild level 4. Should have done this before I moved him out because it does a Town Portal and Clan. Ah, why didn't I do that before I moved him out? That's so annoying. Let's see if Teal tries to sneak past us. Because we might have to go back in that direction, anyway. They should be able to see it. So I expect there's a good chance that happens. Yep, they are going to try that, but they don't get too far. Alright, so Galthran with the stable boost can actually move pretty far. Tyrus. Tyrus possibly actually starts with tactics. But we definitely go for this. So it has just the one angel, and because our tactics is better, we are completely fine. We do still get to make the choice. Okay, let's try this. Ok, 
Okay, is it worth going for animate dead? Probably not. Go back to the corner. You know what, I think. I think we just do it. Okay, we kill this off. We get a spell scroll, which is no good for us, really. Uh, if we go back, we can't quite reach. We do have a lot of extra movement points. We can go and check stuff like this out. We can go to this too. And we can also use this as an excuse to get a few units for Aislin in case we want to build another hero, although I kind of think we don't. Still, we can easily give up 100. That should be fine. And Aislin go south. No, not south. That doesn't make sense. We should go south this way instead. We should take on things like the Hobgoblins, Whites, stuff like that. Okay, so Vitamina is going to go this way. And is this a dead end? We can actually find out before we commit. It does appear to be a dead end. Would this tell us if there's a gate? Well, it looks like there isn't one, so that's just a complete dead end. Okay, that's disappointing because she's not really getting much done. We'll go for view air. There's a chance that takes us to green, but I think green is in a slightly different section. Yeah, green's in a different section. So what else could we do? We could go to the west, but that's all kind of a dead end too. So this whole part of the map is a complete dead end. Brilliant for skeleton farming, but not very good for... Not very good for actually going aggressive and getting things done. Okay, well I think we've done enough of this part, so thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we will be continuing to go aggressive, probably with Galtharan, because Galtharan's in a much better position to do so. But yeah, that's all for now, thanks, and I'll see you next time.